right. Hello, my name is Drew, you're you, and here we both are together again, ready and able to talk about new fountain pens and inks that have come in this week or the last couple weeks, because it's been a while here at the Goulet Pen Company. And I'm pretty excited because it has been a minute and as true to form, we're going to start things off at the lower price and work our way up. We've got some pretty pricey pens today too. So uh, we'll kind of adjust ourselves and not jump all in at once, but uh, it's nice and easy to talk about it. <coughs> it's easy to talk about an ink because they're simple, they're easy. However, Ferris Wheel Press doesn't do anything simple, do they? Not in this case, not in any case. Radiant Rosewing is part of their Fairy Tale series, which always have really fun, crazy, and exciting colors. Radiant Rosewing being a light pink, kind of a rose, with some different types of shimmer. I believe this one is gold pink shimmer in this ink. It's a lighter ink, so it's not going to explode off the page, but you might want that. And if you do want stuff that explodes off the page, certainly Ferris Wheel Press has plenty of those as well. But right now, the new hotness is Radiant Rosewing. Putting that away, we're going to move on to a pen. This is the Monteverde Ritma. And these come out once a year. Uh, well, you know, all the special editions anyway, which this is. This is an espresso, and it's brown. You know what? I'm going to video the uh, packaging here because the packaging is actually pretty cool. Look at that. You've got some pretty little coffee beans there. It says Ritma Espresso. I just like this packaging. I think it looks nice. I think it's worth note. You know, I just, I just like that. It's not something you would expect for a $40 pen, which is what this is. And uh, overall, I just think the presentation is quite nice. Right here, as you open it up, you'll see that it's got a magnetic cap. And there we have it. I'm gonna brighten this up just a tad. There we go. There is the Ritma in Espresso. Now the Ritma does have a magnetic cap and beneath that you'll find the Yovo steel nib in black to match the darkness of the trim. And the magnetic cap is interesting because there's very little play and just the tolerances here are really tight. And look how closely that magnetic cap lines up and it has a nice tight purchase on the barrel too. And it's a very, very satisfying uh, way to post as well because you'll see a lot of the same things happening at play. So let's see, very nice. And actually I've recently discovered that this pen, despite being a magnetic cap, which is not well known for being the most secure way to cap a pen and have it prevent, uh, have it, uh, you know, prevent drying out. The Ritma, because it is so, like there's not a lot of area for ink, uh, air to escape, it actually does a great job in, come on, focus please. It does a great job in keeping your ink ready to write. And it might surprise you at how well this magnetic cap works. So there we have the Ritma. This is their 2024 special edition color and it really is striking. I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big fan of brown pens in general, as you might know, but uh, it's a really comfortable pen. It doesn't taper at all. You've got one straight line. The profile of this pen is very consistent with or without the cap. So it's very simple. I think that it is really comfortable to hold because it is a larger pen and a larger, well, not larger, it's a larger diameter of a grip. So if you do happen to prefer larger grips, uh, you might enjoy this one. Or if you suffer from any sort of hand cramping, uh, this larger grip can be more comfortable for you as well. So this is a cartridge converter pen. It comes with both a cartridge and a cartridge converter. And you can enjoy this pen for just $40, which I think is kind of a bargain for what you're getting. A Yovo steel nib, one of the best made in Germany. Um, and this piece of paper is apparently, there we go all set. So that is available now. It is their 2024 annual edition, but these don't last the entire year, 
but uh, it should be around for a while. Um, next up, I don't have one here because I didn't want to open one up because they're for sale and they're limited or whatever. The Retro 51 Tornado Rollerball in day and night. It is a popper, which means it is just popping in and popping out. It's not going to be here long, but it's lovely. It's got yellows kind of flowing into some blues, a beautiful little landscape with some trees and beautiful uh, painted designs. Um, yeah, it's a fun looking pen and it uh, has a nice bright personality to it. So check that out if you want. It's available now. Those pens are $72.50 and they are numbered out of 964. I'm very excited about this next one. It's a new Bennu. And these are always fun. No matter what, whether it's your flavor or not, they're fun. Speaking of flavors, as a matter of fact, this is part of our exclusive refreshment collection. And behold, I'm not even going to tell you the name of this pen because you're going to know exactly what it is based off of. And if you don't, then you've probably never encountered Neapolitan ice cream before. And that's okay, because you can encounter it now in fountain pen form for $157, if you so wish. It is a Bennu Euphoria, as all of the refreshment pens have been and continue to be. You've got a beautiful Schmidt nib, also made in Germany, writes wonderfully, and you've got a stunningly rich brown barrel representing the chocolate of the ice cream trilogy that we're partaking in today and it's got a beautiful uh, kind of ribbony look a little kind of a you know satiny depth to it it's really really nice of course trademark Benu sparkles as well with a white grip section so you've kind of got a chocolatey vanilla situation happening here but incorporated into the cap you've got some more vanilla in the shape of a center band with Benu on it silver matching the sparkles there and then a delightful strawberry cap with some shimmer right up at the top put it all together and you have most certainly got some neapolitan ice cream vibes happening and the new pens write tremendously well the euphoria is beautiful it is faceted and it really does come together nicely when you've got all of this together so I am thrilled to have this available now. It is a special edition, so it won't be around forever, but it might be around for a while. It really kind of just depends on how well they do. The iced caramel latte, we're keeping that around for quite some time because you keep buying it. So we'll see. Obviously, we don't want to take something away from you that uh, you're enjoying. But if you want it, get it. You can only acquire it here at the Goulet Pen Company. And... Um, if you wanted a Neapolitan ice cream themed pen, as far as I know, this is the only one. Sailor, silent, which is not a model that is a pro gear. It is not a model that is a 1911. It is just the silent. Give me a minute. I'm going to open up this very, very carefully. Oh, look at that. The box can stay in the plastic. And here we have it, the Sailor Silent. Now, they have had one of these pens before. This one is a brown design, but not just any brown. This is their Patina model. So it might, at first glance, look like just kind of a spongy sort of painting, but it's not. It is actually brass corroded and oxidized with intent to create this lovely pattern. Definitely not your average sailor. A, sailors are usually acrylic, uh, usually or more often than not they're pastel acrylic, not a darker brown metal patina. This is stepping out of sailors usual zone of design and accomplishing something really fun and unique in my opinion. So you've got yourself a 21 karat ion plated nib there, which as always is quite stunning. This is all gold. Um, hopefully you can see that there. That's not a two-tone nib in this case. And then you've got a gold grip section as well. So you do have a metal grip section, which is uncommon for Sailor, you know, overall, but has been and continues to be a trademark of this silent design, which is a flat top design similar to the Pro Gear, but 
a different form factor and a uh, different set of measurements here. So um, you will find the sailor emblem there at the top, which is not surprising. And then it is a cartridge converter pen. Again, comes with both cartridge and converter in the box. So you'll have that available to you as well. So this is $552. Uh, overall, I think that's a fantastic price for everything that goes into it. It is heavier than your average sailor because it is brass, but it's not a large pen, especially not posted, which, you know, it does post. Um, if you post it, it is back weighted in my opinion, and with my hands, but really in the hand without the cap posted, I don't find it to be too heavy. I think that it has a nice balance to it with the metal grip and the metal barrel. It's not front or back weighted. I think it sits perfectly in the hand. And um, I think that a metal pen with Sailor's standard form factor actually has a nice, uh, it just agrees well with it. So that is the Patina version of the Sailor Silent. It is available now. I don't think it's going to be a super limited thing considering we still have the uh, first version of the Silent. Okay, we're going to jump into some Delta now. This specifically being upside down. This specifically being the DV original. And this is their midsize DV and um, they'll probably come out with an oversize at some point because um, there was a Dolce Vita full size back in the day that Delta made, so they'll probably want to continue that. But for now, we do have some element of oversizedness here, but it's not the pen itself, it's the nib. So, specifically, once we remove all the fun stuff here, oh, look at that. Compliments on your decision. I like that. Compliments on your decision. It basically is saying, congratulations, you made the right choice. By buying this pen, you are a smart person. That's really funny, I like that a lot. Compliments on your decision. Good job, you bought our pen. All right, so here is the DV original in the midsize. Now this is an LE, I specifically have here the Imperial Blue edition, and that is BLU not B-L-U-E, so if I'm pronouncing it differently, if I say blue instead of blue, you know why. I don't want you to think I'm saying blue when I should be saying blue. So I'm doing it on purpose. Blue, not blue. Obviously, I mean, you can hear it. All right, so here we have the blue, imperial blue, and there, all, there also is a color called the nobile, that is essentially red. Both pens are the same though, just color differences. You've got a lovely center band here, very ornate, Signature Delta situation happening there. Lovely acrylic with the kind of flecked resin and the Delta logo there at the cabochon up top. This pen does have a blind cap, which gives you access to the piston knob. Both the red and the blue have internal piston systems, as you can see there. So uh, you've got a translucent barrel, and it does have this ratchet thing that happens once you reach the end of the piston, which you can't really feel, but the sound makes you think you can feel it. So I wanna say it feels good, but it doesn't. But it sounds like it feels good. I don't know, it's nice. So you might have seen a little sneak peek, one of, which is one of my favorite things about this. Before we look at the nib, I just wanna say, look, it's a blue feed. Not only is it blue feed, it is a blue ebonite feed. And that is well known for having really great ink mobility properties. It's a very lean feed, which is very similar to the old Delta uh, Dolce Vita. And um, yeah, I'm sure that's not by accident. So it's a very narrow feed and the blue ebonite feed will be matching up with this Imperial blue pen. And there will also be a red feed that matches up to the Nobile. And then boom, you have what is indeed no oversized on this pen, and that's the nib. This is a number eight nib, being noticeably larger than the number six nib most commonly found on fountain pens and all of the currently available Delta pens as well. So this is noticeably larger, and it is an 18 karat gold nib made in Germany by Yovo. So their 18 karat gold nibs have not been widely available as of yet, 
but Delta has one here on both of their DVs, the Nobile and the Imperial Blue. So that is fun. If you like larger pens, this is a great pen for you. It is not their largest pen that Delta is capable of making, but it is a beefier pen for sure. But you've got a large internal reservoir, you've got a large nib, a feed you know is going to be up to the task, and you've got a classic Italian design that uh, really does kind of harken back to Delta's you know, uh, original run with this style of pen. So happy to have it available. These pens are $796, so a pretty penny, but there's a lot going on here, both in terms of you know, actual manufacturing, history, and innovation. So also comes with a little bottle of ink. Ah, there we go. Boom. It looks to be blue. All right. So again, two colors available now. The DV original with the number eight nib. And finally, at the top of the, I won't say food chain, but price pyramid, we have a Visconti. Surprise, surprise. They often find themselves in this position, don't they? This is a Medici. And the Medici line has always been a lot of fun to look at. This is another acro silk pen, which is Visconti's proprietary material. And a lovely one at that. The difference between this acro silk pen, however, and the ones that have come previous is that it is very clearly a matte finish. So this one's called the Briarwood, and right away you can tell that they're trying to make this thing look a little woody by keeping the uh, acro silk here with a matte finish. I've got in my hands the, uh, the yellow gold finish version, but there also is a ruthenium version. I think that the yellow gold just kind of pops a little bit better with the browns and just kind of the overall earthiness of this pen, but they both look quite lovely. So it is a faceted pen, as you can see, and boom, this jumps right at you, right out at you as well. You've got the Florentine lilies adorning the outside of the ink window of the double reservoir chamber here, which is how this pen is filled, revealing again the hook safe lock mechanism, which attaches the cap to the grip section. Once this pen is filled, this will be uh, no longer clear because ink will be in that second reservoir. The piston rod, which this is a vacuum style filler, you will submerge your nib, pull this back, and then press it down. As soon as it gets pressed all the way down, it will create a vacuum that then brings all the ink up in here. This piston gasket ends right about here. So this portion that you're seeing here represents the beginning of the second reservoir of ink. So once this is screwed down, the piston, the gasket here, there's like a rubber O-ring that will reside right here, closes off the flow of ink to this part of the pen so that you're only writing which is with what is in this second reservoir. So this is what they call the double reservoir power system filling system. And um, that'll give you a ton of ink, it really will. I mean, this will give you a mass amount of ink, but you'll just need to either leave it open or open it as you need it. But you'll be able to tell if you need it because of this stunningly gorgeous ink window. Like, have you seen a lovelier ink window? Usually they're pretty utilitarian. And of course, we've got an 18 karat gold nib made by Visconti as well. So quite lovely here. Uh, standard V with a little Visconti logo there that we're not gonna be able to see, but that's okay. We've got another V here that we can see. That is on the top of the clip, and we've got the spring-loaded bridge clip as well. Very easy to use. The variation will exist. As you see here, we've got a uh, significant variation between the barrel style, the grip style, and the cap. So you're going to get a unique pen that is going to be yours. No one will have a Medici that is exactly like yours. Uh, Acro silk, by the way, um, is not just a buzzword for a neat material. It is literally acrylic and silk fibers all combined. So um, it is a unique material that they've made over there at Visconti. And like I said, in this case, they do sandblast it to create that kind of, uh, 
kind of a faux wood sort of texture. A lot of fun, a lot of great depth here, and sometimes it really does look like wood. So there you have it. That is the Visconti Medici. It is, again, $876 in either the yellow gold hardware or the ruthenium hardware. Both available now. Um, these probably won't be around forever. These tend to be a little bit limited, but they're not calling it limited, so maybe we'll be around forever. I don't know. The point is, I'm telling you about it. That's what I'm doing. I'm just making you aware of things. Do we want to make ourselves aware of what's in here? <gasps> it's just a book because it's a double reservoir power filler. You don't need anything except literature. So that is in here, just chilling out in the basement of this pen's little home. All right, y'all, that is it for today. We're gonna keep it relatively short and hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you for choosing to spend some of your precious time with me. I do appreciate it, I do value it, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Have fun, right on.